To the migrant crisis now, a sparking a rift between New York's Democratic leaders as 100,000 migrants flood the nation's largest city with even more on the way. Governor Kathy Hochul taking aim at New York City Mayor Eric Adams in a brand new letter. She claims Adams has dragged his feet addressing the crisis and has even ignored state help altogether. Dre Clark is live with new reaction from both leaders following the leak of this letter. Hey, Dre. Marquis, good morning. Both the mayor and governor are downplaying any appearance or sense of tension between the two powerful Democratic leaders, although many people see this letter from the governor as an indication that she clearly is not happy with how the mayor's administration is handling the migrant crisis, saying they've been slow to act, even ignoring the state's offers for help. Attorneys representing New York Governor Kathy Hochul sent a 12-page letter to a judge in response to requests made by New York City for more state intervention and involvement. The letter is extremely critical of how Mayor Eric Adams' administration has done a poor job of communicating and coordinating throughout its handling of the migrant crisis. The letter stating, the city has not made timely requests for regulatory changes, has not always promptly shared necessary information, with the state, has not implemented programs in a timely manner, and has not consulted the state before taking certain actions. The city's deputy mayor of communication says he found the letter encouraging. It sounds like in that letter that the state wants to do more, and we very much welcome that. The state says it secured one and a half billion dollars in financial support in its state budget to help with the cost of migrant care. And it has advanced $250 million of those funds. But the letter says the city has been slow to submit its cost reimbursement documentation for these funds. We've given them the invoices that we've had. Attorneys also questioning why migrants were left sleeping on the sidewalk outside the Roosevelt Hotel, despite there being hundreds of vacant beds in the city shelter system. The governor says the state gave the city $10 million to provide legal services for migrants to obtain asylum and work authorizations. But she says the city did not prioritize the effort, adding, had the city done so, it is likely that thousands more migrants would be able to work today. Now, both the mayor and governor say they have a great working relationship and that won't be changing anytime in the near future. There is one thing they do agree on unequivocally, and that is they believe the federal government should be completely footing the bill for the cost and shelter of the migrants because they maintain it was federal agencies that cleared the way for the migrants to enter into the country legally. Adrian. All right, Dre, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.